I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. The sooner we deal with the threats to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Don't worry, Josephine. We'll protect the Empress, no matter what. I pray you're right. If your vision of the future comes to pass, the death of the Empress heralds the destruction of everything. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Tedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. Does Selene know about the threats against her? Can we send word? I've sent messages to the Empress, but it's impossible to know if she's received them. We don't have enough sway with the court to arrange an invitation. Perhaps a few more alliances. Or soldiers. We need a greater presence in Orle. And soon. How is a place like this ever lost? Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though, I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. This view reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first. But after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. You're lucky it was just a single city. I've got half of Thedas. You're doing everything you can to protect them. Does it ever get any easier? I'll let you know. I don't envy you, Inquisitor. But I may be able to help you. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him. 
and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. If that's what happened to the Wardens, do you think we can free them? It's possible. But we need to know more first. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully my friend in the Wardens will know more. I appreciate the help. I'm doing this as much for myself as for you. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. You said you thought you killed Corypheus. The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back. Or maybe it's old Tevinter magic. But he was dead. I swear it. Where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. I hoped that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. As it turned out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up, and the exalted march never came. I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? I don't know if there ever was just an Anders. He was crazy. By the end, there was nothing left in him except this insane need to start a war no one could win. I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? When the Wardens began acting strangely, I had my friend Aveline take my sister out of the Free Marches. Isabella and I never believed in being tied down. When I had to go into hiding, she understood. We'll see each other again. Until then, she'll be having fun. And hopefully not too much fun. I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood.
where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. You kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? Hey, enough! You're taking his side? I said enough! We needed someone to lead this Inquisition. First, Liliana and I searched for the hero of Ferelden, but he had vanished. Then, we looked for Hawk, but he was gone too. We thought it all connected, but no. It was just you. You kept him from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy... Varric's not responsible for what happened at the Conclave. I was protecting my friend. Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept him secret. He's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. That's unworthy of you. I must not think of what could have been. We have so much at stake. Go, Varric. Just go. You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, he'd be dead too. You people have done enough to him. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I just explained what was at stake, if I just made him understand... But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm such a fool. Good thing I still like you. I'm serious. You think I'm not? I want you to know. I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk or the hero of Ferelden, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. You're not what I'd pictured. But if I've learned anything, it's that I know less than nothing. <laughs>